I'm working on a block that the center looks like this and the first time I made it I just followed the directions but I want to show you how you can change blocks out to make them look the way you want it to. The center of this block was made with a square, four flying geese units and four small squares. If you can't see the flying geese unit it would be right there on all four. I think for my purposes that I would like it better if it was a square and a square and a square and eliminate these seams right here. That way if I choose to use a bigger print then it doesn't chop it up and I also will get smoother lines when I go to put it together. I already know that I cut this square three inches because I was adding the the um, flying geese units on the edge so I'm still going to cut a three inch square for my center. Then I want to look at how tall my uh, half square triangle units are and it's about oh one and three quarters ish when we're making half square triangle units out of squares we need to add at least seven eighths of an inch to the finish size of our half square triangle so seven eighths uh, we'd be up somewhere around two and five eighths I'm going to go ahead and cut a three inch square for that for that one um, I'd rather have it a little big. We are going to trim this down to get it to come out right. And then this triangle that I'm going to turn it into, it's about two and a half inches high. So if I added seven eighths to that, we'd be at three and three eighths. I'm going to go ahead and cut it three and a half inches. A three and a half inch square, you actually need two of them. You can cut it a little bit bigger if you want to. I already knew how big my center square was, but what if you didn't? All, and all you knew was you wanted a finished five inch square in the center of your block. I have marked a five inch square out on paper. A lot of times it's easier to see, visualize it if it's all drawn out. Personally, I tend to draw an electric quilt, but if you don't have it, this is what you could do. So I drew my five inch square. I put little tick marks at the two and a half inch point on each side. I'm going to connect those up all the way around so I get a square and a square. So this would be a five inch finished one with nothing. I mean, it's going to be five inches anyway, but it would just be a plain one this first round. And then I need to divide up my next line and it came out to about three and a half. So half of that is one and three quarters. So I'll just put a little mark there. And I'm just going to connect all these all the way around again. So once I've done that, then I have the finish sizes for all my pieces on this block. And remember, we just need to add seam allowance all the way around. So our most important measurement when we're doing a square and a square is that center square because that needs to be accurate. The triangles we can oversize and then trim down. And yes, it's two and a half inches, so I would add a half an inch to get to my three inch square. So that's a little bit of drafting. So for each of these square and a square and a square units, I figured out that I need to cut a three inch square for my center. My next round of triangles around the edges, I need two three inch squares, and I'm going to cut those in half on the diagonal. And then my final round, I need at least a three and a half inch square. Again, I need two of them cut in half on the diagonal. So now I'm ready to start putting this together. I'm going to take my smaller triangles and put them on opposite sides of my center square. Now when I'm sewing this, my accurate measurement is my square. So I'm going to sew with that square on top so that I can make sure I'm getting my quarter of an inch from the edge of here. My triangles are slightly oversized, so I can just visually center. I know I'll be trimming these down later. If you're really concerned about it, you can fold your square in half. 
and put a little crease in there, fold your triangle in half, put a little crease, or you could pin it. You're going to match those creases up if you really want to get exact. And then I'm going to sew both of these a quarter of an inch away from the square. I want the square on top when I'm sewing on both sides. I've sewn my triangles to opposite sides of my square and then I pressed out toward the triangles. Next step is to take the other two triangles that are the same color and sew them on the opposite sides. Again, I'm going to be sewing with my square on top and I am again just visually centering on the triangle. I've added my last two triangles and again I pressed away from the center. Now I need to trim this down and I can look at the drawing that I made and I need to measure the side of this square and it's three and a half inches so we want the finished size of this square to be three and a half so we need to add a quarter of an inch all the way around or half inch total so three and a half goes up to four inches. Now it's going to be easier to trim a square with a square ruler. Half of four inches is two inches, so I want to put my two inch mark going through the points here and through the points here. And I also want to make sure that I'm keeping a quarter of an inch beyond the points if I possibly can. And I should be able to on this one, so I'm going to be trimming it to four inches. So here's this. My quarter of an inch mark is there. It's there. It's there. It's there. When you have it all lined up and running your line through this way will keep your block straight. Then we're going to trim two sides. And you have committed now. So now we're just going to line up our four inch mark on the two sides we just cut. Really, my two inch mark should still be going through the center and I should, still should have my quarter of an inch beyond my points. And then I'm going to cut my last two sides. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Once I've done that, this now becomes the center of my next square in a square unit. So I will take my next triangles, and again, I'm going to sew them to opposite sides of my square in the center. I am going to once again put my square on top. I'm visually centering. The triangle is slightly oversized. And another reason that I want to sew with my square on the top is I can see where my seams intersected right here. So I want my needle when I'm sewing to hit right there in that point so that I keep my points on the front. I put my two triangles on opposite sides and again I pressed away from the center. I can't think of any time off the top of my head when I would not press away from the center on a square and a square unit. So now I'm just going to add the last two triangles and again I'm going to be sewing with the square on the top so I can see that intersection and keep my quarter of an inch. And I just want you to notice here my points are pretty much exactly where they should be just butting up next to that triangle. So I've sewn the last two triangles on and again pressed away from the center and if you remember when I drew the drawing of the square and a square and a square I decided that I wanted my finished square to be five inches which means that cut it needs to be five and a half because we're adding the um, quarter of an inch on all four sides. Half of five and a half is two and three quarters and by cutting my outside tri squares for the triangles at three and a half I don't have a lot to trim off. I have very little so if that concerns you you could always make those triangles a little bit bigger. So what I did was I lined my two and three quarter lines through the points I made sure I had a quarter of an inch beyond the points here, and then I cut. Once I've cut the first two sides, I'm committed. So then I can just line up the five and a half inch mark with the two sides I just cut and trim. So there is that finished block. So I know I changed the fabrics 
but I wanted you to see side by side the difference it makes to take the seams out. Now I just have nice clean triangles here rather than dividing the triangles up into three parts. So it really depends on which look you like better.